Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before we start, I would request you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You will find tons of amazing hands-on videos on DevOps and Cloud DevOps on this channel along with the real-time scenarios. So make sure to subscribe. Now before we move ahead, I wanted to show you this. Uh, we just received it yesterday. I'm not sure if you can see this properly. So this is the YouTube silver play button which you receive once you cross 1 lakh uh, subscribers milestone and yeah since you know like we have crossed it already so yeah we received it yesterday and thanks to you all guys uh, for supporting us and yeah thank you all now coming to today's topic so today will be the day one of a devops interview preparation and today we are going to learn about the real-time workflow by workflow i mean to say that how exactly devops happen how exactly DevOps task happens in companies. That's what I'm going to show you through a diagrammatic structure so that you can understand the actual flow and same thing you can use it to explain in interviews. Okay. So before that, just, uh, just, just to let you know, we have new batch starting on Zero to Hero DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps uh, from 18th of May. If you are interested, you can enroll. All the details will be in the description. Right. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Okay team, so the diagram that I'm going to explain now, please make sure that you are listening very carefully because this whole diagram will help you understand how exactly tasks happen in companies from DevOps point of view. Okay, so let us assume a scenario uh, that we have an application. Okay, we have an application and application is running fine and everything is working fine. Then one day client says, okay, I want to add some new feature to the application. Okay so how it is supposed to be done this this is what we are going to see if any new request come QK okay, some uh, our application needs to be modified how do we do that okay so client says i want to add new feature that feature could be anything like changing of background color or maybe adding some button or like making any kind of changes in the application that could be some feature or anything okay so how does it happen so client what he's going to do first of all he's going to raise a ticket Ticket in the in the sense like in DevOps we have Jira. There are other tools also, but most commonly used to uh, like ticketing tool we have Jira. Okay, so in basically inside Jira, what is going to happen? Uh, client is going to mention the task details like what is going, what is needs, what needs to be done. For example, like what kind of feature needs to be added. Okay, and all those information about the new feature that client wants to add in the uh, application, he will mention all those details. Okay. Let me show you an example of what kind of how a ticket looks. Okay. So team talking about Jira. So basically, let's say this is a Jira platform. Okay. So client, let's say client want to uh, add new feature in our application. So what he's going to do He's going to click on create. Okay. And project and issue type he can select generally if, if it's kind of like task. So we'll just select task. Okay. Summary. So summary client can write like feature dash one to three, maybe some more details about feature like let's say add a new button okay this was the uh, task uh, like summary of the task given by client to us right after that a detailed dis a description of the uh, whatever task needs to be done will be added in description section uh, i'll just add it like this okay and here like some other details are there and here you, you can see this option reporter reporter means whoever is raising the ticket okay click on create uh, and you can see the task is created in the section two to one. Okay. If I open it as of now, you can see there is no assignee. Reporter is the one who has raised a ticket. That is the client. Assignee is the one who is going to work on it. In our case, if new feature needs to be added, that means new source code needs to be written. That needs to be done by developers. So what is going to happen? Some developer is there who is who's going to assign this ticket to themselves or another person like manager is going to assign this task to the developer okay for example let's say i'm developer so this task will be assigned to me okay so as we move ahead like whatever code i'm writing i'll just keep updating the status of the ticket key what exactly i have done for example let's say uh, i can write like 50 percent completed any kind of things like whatever status of the uh, like uh, task is there we can write it the reason for updating the tickets on regular basis is that key managers and other teammates who are also visiting your ticket so they can be aware what exactly is the status of the ticket how much task has been done okay so this is how the jira ticket will be created 
ticket will be created by some uh, client and they will mention whatever task needs to be done then the ticket will be assigned to some developer they will start writing the source code okay and side by side they will keep updating the comments also once everything is done then developer what they can do once the task is completed meanwhile when the task is ongoing they can put the ticket in, in progress status in if it is completed they can just move it to done okay and this is how the ticket is uh, like managed now so jira ticket created developer assigned it to himself and developer starts writing the source code now before developer directly pushes the code to branch or deploy the code to some deployment cluster basically what happens uh, the code that is written by the developer developer is going to test the code in their local machine local machine is like their local laptop so they are if they want to deploy that code to the application they need to make sure that that code is working fine how do they do that so developers they are going to run the code in their local machine and check if the uh, the code that they have written is correct or not once they are sure ki okay the code is correct next up what they are going to do okay they are going to create a feature branch from dev branch okay before we start with the feature branch let me explain you different branches that we have okay as of now the main branches that we should be able to understand is like dev branch qa branch ppd branch prod branch and dr branch each of these branches contain the code that is deployed to be specific environment for example dev environment okay so two things you need to understand branches and environment okay for example this is like dev cluster qa cluster ppd cluster right these are environments okay deployment clusters are environment okay now if you want to deploy our application to dev cluster we need to fetch the code from dev branch okay one more thing so let us understand the like why we have multiple uh, like environments so dev environment is basically the lowest environment okay these are the environment these are branches do not get confused so let's i'll just put it here yeah. so dev cluster or dev environment is the lowest de uh, deployment environment where we just deploy the application to see if the application is able to run or not okay that is the main purpose of dev dev environment then we have qa environment Q environment is basically for quality assurance that means we need to make sure application is running fine plus all the test cases that we have written they are also working fine that means functionality of the code is running fine okay so for that reason we are going to deploy the application to Q environment then we have ppd environment ppd is short for pre production that means you know what okay before ppd let us understand prod environment so prod environment is the live environment like let's say i have some let's say netflix application okay so uh, if i if, when i deploy to prod environment that means that application has become live and it is accessible by public that's why we say production environment or prod environment okay but directly we should not release to prod so before prod what we do we deploy the application to ppd environment ppd is short for, short for pre production so basically ppd mimics or copies the prod environment so that we can test the application in a real live environment okay so once application is running fine in prod uh, ppd environment then we deploy the application to prod environment that means then we make sure that application goes live in the public and public is, public is accessible public is, sorry public is able to access the application okay then we have dr uh, environment so dr is short for disaster recovery in case anything goes wrong with prod environment we can use dr environment for deployment okay now so for each environment we have specific branches dev qa ppd prod and dr but here you will be able able to see there are three other branches as well this one is like f123 then we have bug fix then we have hot fix so let us understand these okay now as i mentioned ki developer has written the source code and uh, so he has tested the source code in his local laptop or he has done the local deployment to see or to make sure that application is uh, like running fine in local okay next step is to create a feature branch from dev branch okay and then the code that is written by developer developer is going to push it to feature branch okay and after that developer is going to raise a pull request pull request is supposed to help with the merge merging of the code from feature branch to dev branch so once the developer has raised the pull request let, let me write it as pr okay in short we call it as pr so once developer has raised a pr then there will be some architect who is supposed to verify this code so, okay before this code is merged to dev branch this code is supposed to be verified by some architect who is the part of the project 
so he is going to verify the changes and once it is, he is satisfied then he will approve the pull request and these changes are going to be merged with dev branch once it is merged then we can as a devops engineer we can start writing the ci cd pipeline and as i say key for the lower environment which is dev environment the purpose is to deploy the application to just check if the application is running or not okay that will be done once that is done the next step would be to merge the code in from dev branch to qa branch okay and then again as a devops engineer we are going to write this ci cd pipelines which will be containing the uh, like test test cases also or execute execution of test cases as well and we are going to deploy the application to qa environment okay now let's say we deploy the application to qa environment but there is some bug in the application that we were able to find out after running the test cases in the qa environment right so as soon as we found out okay there is a bug we are going to raise a we are going to create a new branch from qa branch wherever we find bug we are going to create a branch from there itself okay so we created a new branch from here and developer again he is going to fix the bugs he is going to write the source code to fix the bugs and then once he is sure that the changes are fixed bugs are fixed then this bug fix branch the new code that is there written by developer which is the fix of the bug is going to be merged back into qa deployment will happen again and this time we should not be able to see any bug so if that is the case we can merge the code from qa to ppd and again perform the same thing okay as i mentioned ppd is the mimic of the prod environment to see so that we can see how the application is going to behave in the live environment okay after that we are going to merge the changes from ppd branch to prod branch and using this branch we are going to deploy the application to prod environment or prod cluster okay let's say for some reasons there there is some issue on like a severe issue or like uh, suddenly some issue came okay so in that case what we do we immediately create a hotfix branch from prod in, uh, branch itself why we are calling it hotfix because uh, we need to fix this issue immediately okay so immediately we are going to fix it merge back to prod and deploy the application to prod environment meanwhile this is getting fixed we can use a disaster recovery branch so that uh, meanwhile the uh, prod environment is down public can still access dr uh, environment deployed application as i say dr stands for disaster recovery okay and again uh, so, since new changes are merged here so uh, after like prod is merged to uh, dr again dr will be merged to dev so that every branch has the latest changes and this is how a whole devops process happens like if we want to add some new feature to application this is how it's going to happen okay and this is how that application that new feature will be added to application in the prod environment okay or the live environment okay so next time in interviews if they ask you like how many environments were there in your project you can mention there were five environments okay five branches and there was there were multiple feature branches based on the requirement we can create feature branches from dev we can create bug fix branch uh, from any of the branches based on requirement uh, not requirement based on like if any uh, if any bug is found we can create bug fix branch hot fix is the branch that we create from prod why do we create because some severe or sudden issue occurs in prod environment so immediately we need to create a hot fix branch why we are calling it hot fix because we need to immediately fix it okay yeah so that's pretty much about the whole process that happens again i have not written detail like ci cd process uh, because i i believe like all of you already know like we have the process like uh, uh, compilation testing building of the application so our cube analysis trivia scan those kind of things we have okay that will be discussing a later but this is the actual workflow that happens in most of the companies and i hope that this helps you understand how exactly things happen and yeah so thanks for watching team and have a nice day